Welcome to Friday's Market Wrap-Up here at Wealth Creation Investing. Matthew Buckley, the Chief Investment Strategist here at WCI. And very interesting uh, news on the jobs front. Let's go right to the numbers. Uh, they came out a couple minutes ago. Non-farm payroll jumped. 203,000. That blows 180K uh, estimated out of the water. Uh, last month revised down only four grand. So, uh, but very, very strong jobs number. More importantly, the headline here is a decrease from 7.2% to 7%, the unemployment rate. That is ginormous, folks. And uh, here's Bizarro Market for you. So all market or, or all week, the market's been selling off, right? Especially Wednesday when we got the great uh, ADP jobs numbers. Everybody in the market freaked out. Well, good jobs numbers means the Fed's going to be leaving soon. Market's been selling off on good economic data. Now we get these strong jobs numbers and the stock futures uh, are higher. So it's going to be interesting price action. Again, these are these are the futures markets not open yet to, to really see how the market digests these numbers. But it, it shows you that we're in bizarre market. The only reason, in my opinion, futures are still up right now is that uh, the market's thinking, hey, maybe strong jobs numbers, uh, maybe the economy is improving and the Fed can leave uh, and do a nice gentle handoff from their uh, tapering to us, to, to the market kind of standing on its own two feet. That's the, the only reason I think while the, uh, the futures are still up. They, they aren't up as high as they were and they're starting to pull back a little bit. But like I said, uh, after the market opens, it's going to be very interesting to see how we, uh, how we trade here because uh, this, these, blowout numbers, in my opinion, make the odds of a taper. I, I don't think we're going to see a December taper when the Fed meeting uh, the, the Fed uh, meeting is on the, uh, I think it's 18, 19, 17, 18. Uh, next week, uh, next coming weeks, we got a Fed meeting. I don't think they're going to taper then, uh, but the odds are certainly increasing very rapidly for January, March-ish uh, taper. So, um, and uh, other economic reports, average hourly earnings flat, uh, inflation flat, personal spending flat, personal income actually dropped. So while the jobs numbers might be good, uh, the rest of the a macroeconomic data that came out uh, not essentially lighting the world on fire, in my opinion, especially personal income, a drop in personal income, pretty significant drop. It's actually negative. That's... Um, that, that, that's that's worrying to me. Uh, at 10, we're going to get University of Michigan uh, consumer sentiment. That'll be a, a, another one that uh, I'm looking at. And also later in the afternoon, consumer credit. So drop in personal income and personal spending flat. Eh, not not the best news, but obviously these uh, these green right here uh, are going to be the uh, uh, the headline numbers today. Really good stuff going on over uh, at Topkin Options. Got two weekly uh, options positions, an Apple Iron Condor that looks to expire today for about a $3,000 profit and a Goog Iron Condor for an $1,800 profit, nearly $5,000 in profit on about $10,000 in risk. A uh, nice 50% return on risk this week in our weekly options uh, model portfolio. So very happy with what's going on over at TGO. All right, folks, got to run. Happy hunting. Make sure you had hedge have a great weekend and i'll be back with monday's market outlook here at wealth creation investing we'll see you